her grandma over there. She's 90 years old. She ain't even a day. She ain't even 12 hours. She's 100 years old. Who is she? You respect her. But if she grandma says something wrong, she's going to tell her, hey, grandma, you wrong with that one. And leave it. Respectfully. But some of us got so much respect for people, we can't tell them nothing. It's the work in the vineyard, which is Israel. Go ahead. 16. Let your light so shine before me that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. So if your light shines before me, you tell a lot of truth. You ever seen you come in the room, turn the lights on, you see what roaches do? They yeah. scatter, right? Mm -hmm. So when you go around and people scatter, <laughs> me and your light ain't shining, they ain't scatter. Unless your light matches their light. Right. Same. Now your light matches their spirit, they be, spirit matches your spirit, y'all gonna connect. Yes, sir. But they ain't done this. Oh, I got something to do. I gotta go. Yeah. I gotta go. Mm -hmm. bring, in, bring in that stuff down. Yeah. This is how I roll. Read it again. What happened over 16. Go ahead. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. We still on the good works, y'all. Good works. Let's go to John chapter 10. Working in the vineyard. The vineyard of God. Not Jim. Let's see that Jesus has some good works. Jesus told us, hey, look, man, y'all ain't no different from me. The stuff, the punishment, they tried to stone me, kill me, and they did kill me. It's going to happen to some of us. Let's look at his work and the example. Because Jesus is our example. If you're a Christian, that means that you're a follower of Christ. John chapter 10, verse 25. Go ahead, bro. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. So the works you're doing, do they bear witness of the Father? We got a match. You might say that we our spirits got a match. Our words got a match. We matching today. We keeping the Sabbath holy. Coming together. Matching. Go ahead. 26. But you believe not because you are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. Because people ain't gonna see if they're not a part of the fold. They're like Jesus said, you don't believe because you part of the sheep fold. Basically. Go ahead. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. If you say Sabbath day and a crowd of people, I'm gonna hear it. Somebody say, man, I don't eat no swine. Who said that? A friend that I'm trying to figure out, hey man, why, why you don't eat swine? You don't Muslim, man. No, 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 I'm an Israelite. Oh, man. We connected. Yeah, man, I'm going to celebrate the Christmas. Oh, oh, you don't celebrate Christmas? What's going on, man? No, 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 I celebrate the Feast of Tabernacle. Oh, we connected. We ain't got to connect with fringes. <laughs> my sheep shall hear my voice. Not my sheep says, shall see my fringes. Amen. Amen. Oh. Go ahead, bro. 28. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. This is the fruit, man. The voice. <laughs> we hear God. We start operating. Believe me, nobody can't pluck you out of God's hand. And Psalm chapter 34 said, Those angels are encamped like around my house. Amen. I believe that. You got to make sure you believe that. Amen. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. He didn't say the weapon went formed up, he said it wouldn't prosper. They're like when I caught COVID. I caught COVID, hey, I'm still here. Amen. It didn't prosper, it didn't put me six feet deep. Mm -hmm. It's going to form. But if you come out of it, praise the Lord. You got some good works to do. Keep going. Go ahead. 29, my Father, which gave them me, is greater than all. Mm -hmm. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Jesus said, man, I got the same power as the Father got. Mm -hmm. Basically. Can't pluck you out of his hand. Only people that get plucked out of a person's hand because they entice with lust. They entice. It's something in them. To turn from this. You got to be suicidal to turn from God. Stuff, stuff going on in this world right now. We almost at the end. 
Go ahead. Verse 30. I and my father are one. Yes, sir. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. See, they about to yeah. stone Jesus. Right, right. Like, man, me and my father are one. Because they know, like, man, you ain't about 33 years old. In other scriptures, how you say Abraham rejoiced to see you in his name? Right. He didn't understand who Abraham was talking to. Right. He was talking to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the God of the Old Testament also. Yes, sir. The Father, we have never dealt with him at any time. Yes, sir. Or heard his, seen the shepherd, heard his voice. Yes, sir. Right. You know all that stuff, man. You know it all. Go ahead. 32. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my Father. For which of those works do you stone me? You're like, man, I showed you all these mighty good works. Which one are you going to stone me? This is what happened. Go ahead. The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. See what he said there? Because yeah. you're a man, you making yourself God. Like we tell people, look, we want to, we going to be God one day. And they're like, what's wrong with y'all? How y'all going to be God? Come to scripture say, yes, y'all trying to get some wings. I, ain't, I know God don't have wings. Keep going, nigga. 34. Jesus answered them, is it not written in your law? I said, you are God. He said, I told you, you were God. So, <laughs> go ahead. If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. So if I say, what's up, God? You should respond, what's up? But if I say, what's up, God? Oh, you bless me. That means you don't know nothing. The scripture cannot be broken. This is what you deliver in the vineyard. All these examples that Jesus gave us to work. We got to work. Let me show you what he meant by good works. He said, which of these good works you stole me? He said, I ain't stole by the good work. I'm sorry because of you saying God. Yeah, you told me God. Let's see what is good works. Let's go to Matt. Oh yeah, Romans two. Let's go. I'm giving ahead of myself. Let's go to Romans two and verse five. Romans two and five. Then we go to uh, Matthew. You got to have the works. Romans chapter two and verse five. Telling y'all, Jesus is gonna judge everything, every good work. He's gonna judge it all. Very important. Romans chapter 2 and verse 5. Go ahead. But after thy hardness and impenitent heart treasureth up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Go ahead. Who will render to every man according to his deeds. What are deeds? Words. 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 Mm -hmm. He's gonna render to every man. White man, Chinese man, black man, every man according to their deeds, according to our deeds. Because we got to make sure we got on more of the good side than the bad side. Go ahead. Verse 7. To them who by patient continuance and well doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life. This is what we seeking for. I ain't seeking for no big car. I ain't seeking for no uh, lot of money. I like to have some. But I ain't seeking for that first. I'm seeking for this immortality and eternal life. Amen. And it comes for us doing good works. Go ahead. Verse 8. But unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath. Uh oh, these are the ones that don't want to keep the Sabbath. These are the ones that don't want to keep the dietary law. These are the ones that don't want to keep nothing about God. Go ahead. Tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil of the Jew first and also of the Gentile. Go ahead. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Believe me, when you, you got good work, it's glory. When you teach somebody about the law, it's glory. God looking at you. When you bring, what it said, if one sinner convert, Whole heaven is rejoicing. Yes, Glory. Who you done brought over? Who you done brought over from the other side? 
Ask yourself, have you witnessed to anybody about the God of Israel? You got some work to do. If you have. Go ahead. Verse 11. For there is no respect of persons with God. Ain't no respect of person. The Jew first, then the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. The Israelites first, he just got protocol. Israelite gonna get it first, and then here come the Gentiles or the other nations. Let's go to Matthew chapter 19. Let's look at some of these good works. Let's see how we can work like Jesus. Matthew 19. So verse 16. I want details. I don't know about y'all. Don't play around with me in my life. And these preachers inside these churches are playing with you. I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to kill me. If I stay in there long enough, I got out. You finna kill me. Go to hell. Just call you my brother, you my mama, you my sister, you my uncle, whoever. Nah, you finna kill me taking that place to the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. But let's see what are these good works. They tell us when Jesus died on the cross, he did away with them. Did away with the law. Verse 16, go ahead. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? That's a good question. Yes. What did Jesus say? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Keep what? The commandments. These are good works. <clears throat> if you're going to enter into life, keep the commandments. If you can't remember all ten, you got work to do. If you can't remember the ten, you can't teach nobody the ten. And you talk to me, tell me, I believe, I got faith, all this and that. You ain't doing no work. Faith without works is what? Dead. Dead. You can't teach nobody nothing. You don't know nothing. You feel me that? Yes, sir. Let's go to Matthew chapter 7. Same book. Working in the vineyard of God. But we got to have some fruit. <clears throat> we got to have some fruit. What you bring to the table? Understand, a lot of people got a lot of talk, but they don't bring nothing to the table. What you God looking at you, what you bring to the table? Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. Go ahead. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving and wolves. And those, those Sunday preachers telling you to keep Sunday, come with them nice clothes on them, but inside of them, there's some wolves trying to kill you. Mm -hmm. Go and tell them to make a fire. That's what they take you to. Go ahead. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? He said, you don't know them by their fruits. What they bring to the table. And you gotta understand this too. A lot of people think just because I feed somebody, oh, I got good works. My question is, what you feed them? Did you feed them pork? Catfish? Shrimp? Crab? That ain't no good work. Then you just working for Satan. Mm -hmm. Oh man, man, we clothed them on Christmas Day. Man, oh, you did? That was no good work right now, huh? You were following Christmas. What about the other 365 days out of the year? When you walk past it. Go ahead. 17. Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Yes, sir. We get these things work. The only time about fruit is your work. That's it. What you bringing forth to the table? What you putting on the table? What you putting there? Besides talk. Go ahead. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Yes, sir. How do you know it's good fruit? Keeping the law. That's good fruit. Go ahead. 19. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is boomed down and cast into the fire. Unless somebody ain't gonna put you in a lake of fire, you ain't got no good fruit, no good works. And people don't know what good fruit is. Until like I'm, I tell my son to go out to that tree and pick me an apple, and I never told him what the apple looked like. He don't come back with the leaf. 
Because they ain't told them. And just like these pastors inside the church, they ain't teaching the people about the law. They don't know good fruit. They teach the people. And they tell the people, all you got to do is confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, you saved. We learned in James, belief don't get you there. The devil believe also. Believe it. Okay. Better read your book. And we're going to talk, we're going to get some good, good, good uh, Christian people right here in the next verse. Let's see if that talk don't get them in. Go ahead. Verse 20. Wherefore by their fruits you shall know them. You're going to know them. Go ahead. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Oh, they're talking. Oh, I love the law. You look down at their plate. They got a big old pork chop on their plate. <laughs> Catfish and everything. Oh, I love them. I'm going to pray with this and they clean, Joe. You a lie? They ain't clean. What book you read? You saying, Lord, Lord, but your service is not matching. Your work ain't matching. It ain't matching the law. Go ahead. 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Wait a minute. These ain't talking about no street walkers. Now, these church folk. These are church people who go to church. Now, we going to church today. We talking about some Sabbath keepers, too. Talking about some law keepers too. He said, many were saying that day, what? Go ahead. Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? I talked about your name. Go ahead. And in thy name we cast our devils. I cast the devils out. Uh -huh. And in thy name done many wonderful works. What Jesus going to say to him? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Woo, I am not going to hear that. Amen, brother. Jesus. Lord, I don't want to hear that. Boy, I'm scared of that. I'm scared. I ain't afraid to tell you. I'm scared of that. Play with it. Y'all play with that if you want to. He said, these people talking about they had some work. They didn't have good works. Because Jesus said, depart from me, you work yourself in iniquity, which is sin. This is what they had to get away from Jesus. You, you lip sir, you talking. You showing up, but your mind ain't there. Who you playing with? What he told who that, who that prophet? He told he knew him in his womb. Jeremiah, right? Jeremiah. He know us before we even were born. Exactly. Okay. Don't play with yourself. Get your head together. We finished with that. Yes, sir. We did twenty-three. Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's go to Revelation chapter fourteen. I'm telling you, even if you die, your work's gonna follow you. Our work's gonna follow us, even to death. And also, it's gonna follow you and I when we wake up. Revelation chapter 14, I'm oh, sorry, verse 12. Let me show you that. And well, when I die, I wanna know exactly when I die. Folks say, man, you crazy. He said, no, I'm not. You crazy for not wanting that. Because I want to make sure I get my, 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 my house in order. Just like he did, who that? Uh, Ezekiel? What did Ezekiel? Uh, There's a guy. There's a guy. There's a messed up a good opportunity right there now. If you think about it, folks think that that's a blessing. That was a great opportunity for this guy. He said, man, get your house in order. I'm going to kill you tonight. God tell you, get your house in order. Believe me. That is good. Why? He give you opportunity to ask, to ask him to forgive all your sin, and you can lay down the rest. Good. You died in the Lord. Oh, he got 15 more years. We don't know how he made it up. The next 15 years. Mm. 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 Revelation chapter 14, we're going to start with verse 12. Let's see the good works. Go ahead. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. He talking about me right here. <clears throat> he talking about me right here. I'm keeping the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. I can only speak for me. Go ahead. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yeah, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Ooh. He said rest from what? Their labors. Labors. 
Labor, you working. You ain't sitting on the sideline. You can rest in the Lord. Go ahead. And their works do follow them. Okay, let's go to Revelation chapter 20. Let's see if the works don't follow you when he wake you up out of that ground. Mm. Working in the vineyard, y'all. Let's get on it. Revelation chapter 20. We're going to start at verse 11. Go ahead. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. So I believe I'm going to skip this right here. I want to come up in the first resurrection. This is the second resurrection right here. The the great right throne. There's a slim chance you won't make it out of this one. Go ahead. Verse 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. According to what? Their works. That's that report card. The dead, he gonna bring you back. Or he gonna kill you, bring you back up and judge you and kill you again. Mm. Ooh, I don't want that. Go ahead. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man according to their works. Still saying works. You gotta have them, y'all. We gotta have them. I don't mind getting cremated. You see what he said right now? The sea gave it up the dead, right? right? Mm -hmm. Say he's a man. Bring me up. Spread me on the sea. He gonna bring me up. We ain't got no choice but to come up. <laughs> Go ahead. 14. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Because at this time, ain't no more dying no more. No more dying. Either you gonna be in the kingdom or you gonna be in that lake of fire burning forever. Everybody will have an eternal body. Believe that. But what side of the kingdom you gonna be on? That's the problem. Go ahead. 15. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Mm. Let's go to Matthew chapter 16. This last one. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew chapter 16. Just deal with these works, man. Laboring in the vineyard. Working in the vineyard. Matthew 16 and verse 24. Stop chasing the bag, y'all. You're going to get burnt up. The bag going to the lake, too. You're going to burn all this stuff up. Ain't no wrong with getting the bag. But you better put the bag behind God. I ain't against you properly, but when it calls me to pull me away from God, oh, I got to let that go. Matthew 16, verse 24. Go ahead, bro. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. He's only talking about the cross around your neck. He's talking about the pain and suffering you're going to go through with his gospel. Take it up. Ride with it. Suffer through it. It gonna end. You gonna, your work is gonna be counted toward your salvation. Meaning that you gonna do pain for him, it's gonna come up for your righteousness and might get you in the kingdom. Go ahead. 25. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Oh, let me go take a shot. <laughs> oh, let me go take a shot so I can save my life. Come on, man. Really? Really? You think God is he's stronger than a shot? Oh, crazy. You think man's going to protect God? He walked through windows and doors. As to, if you read the story, go back to Egypt when Moses was in, the children of Israel was in, when they sent that death angel out, he killed the firstborn of everything. And they was in the house, shut up. You had to have the blood of Jesus for the death angels to ride by. How many of us get up in the morning time and have the blood of Jesus on our mind? We'll put the mask on though. <laughs> That's true. We'll get that sanitizer though. 
You gonna ask me, you got your shot? You, you got your shot? I don't have nobody, never. What that mean? Shit, man, you got time for that. I said, well, God, if I die, I wanna know when I die. Mm. Go ahead, verse 26. For what is, what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Mm. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? And they're giving up a whole lot. These last day right here, when that mark of the beast come out, it's just a little test for him right now. This ain't the mark, man. The man that sin got to sit in the temple of God and call himself God. He said they're going to make an image of the beast, and when they make an image of the beast, that's when they're going to come out with the mark of the beast. This ain't no mark. This is just a practice run. Mm -hmm. Just to get you used to it. Get you used to it. So when it comes out the market, we go, oh, oh, I'm done. Now I took a shot before. Go and shoot the other. So I get my pork chop, my ribs, and all that. <laughs> that one yeah. yeah. believe me, they're going to control all the money, yeah. all the food, all the water, majority. Because <clears throat> you ain't going to be able to buy or sell unless you have. But we'll be in the wilderness at this time. Oh, excuse me. At least I will be in the wilderness at this time. I can't speak for everybody else. This is what he's saying here. Go ahead. 27, for the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. So we still talking about works here. Working in the vineyard, where your works at? Get them up. Bring something to the table. Everybody want a high value woman, a high value man. This is this going thing now. What she bringing to the table, what he bringing to the table. No, no, what you bringing to God to table. What's high value on that table? Keeping the law, showing people the law, and most of all, being an example for them to say, look, we're keeping the Sabbath. We're keeping the high day. We're keeping the dietary law. And they're just part of them. They're just the weight of the law right there. And it got much more as we read in the Bible, all these other scriptures about what we must do, how we treat our neighbor. All those good words, clothe them, feed them, be meek, kind, all these things. You got to do what I got to do. So let's hear my lesson right there. We're going to start. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Wait, one more. Let's go to Matthew. Revelation chapter 22. This is the last one. They hit the last book of the Bible. They're going to say, oh, Jeff, you go to the, to the last book. Let me show you how important these works is. This is in the last book. Sure is. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 12. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he's still going to be judging those corner works. Go ahead. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Still doing the works. Go ahead. 13. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Believe me, God, Jesus is the first God that Adam ever dealt with, and he'll be the last God we deal with. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the God of the Old Amen. Testament and the God of the New Testament. Amen. Go ahead. Blessed are they that do his commandments. What is do? That's a verb, man. I ain't flunk English that many times. No, that ain't a verb. <laughs> do. You got to do it. Do yes, his commandments. Yes, sir. Go ahead. What's that, what happened? That they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. So that is the access code. How many commandments you know? Ask yourself, man. You got to tell me out loud. I'm talking to the people out there. Y'all better know 10. You better know. <laughs> Let's see who on the outside that didn't do works. Go ahead. 15. For without a dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever love it and make it a lie. Those are the ones that didn't work. Mm. And believe me, he ain't talking about no four legged animal right here. Mm. Two legged. This is homosexual right here. Yeah. Dog. That's what they call them. Sodomite. Whore mongers, talking about a male whore, sorcery. Male whore out there sleeping around. Mm. Ain't gonna have no right. So you better get married if you like to get in the bed with somebody if you're a man. So I'm out here fornicating. Yes, sir. This is what he said. Now just keep you out. Make it a lie. Don't make no lies. We got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna end it off that. All right, we're gonna take up the offering. I hope y'all got some understanding. Working in the vineyard. Yeah, I got some more of that. So, <laughs> you're going to take up the offer? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord.
pessoa bonita. 